Hey there action figure collectors, pop culture lovers and comic fans out there. You're watching Ghazali Story Talks. This is Ghazali and today I'll be reviewing Golden Armor Wonder Woman from Wonder Woman 1984 movie by McFarlane Toys. So first thing first we look at the packaging which is a window box packaging and the figure can be seen clearly within and uh, on top here it is the age restriction mark and on the bottom side of the packaging we can see DC Multiverse uh, logo and below it it is written Wonder Woman uh, with blue color and uh, on this side here again on top here is the DC Multiverse logo and it is written Wonder Woman Wonder Woman 1984 Golden Armor with bold letters and at the very bottom of the uh, packaging we can see it is written McFarlane toys along with McFarlane toys symbol and on this side of the packaging nothing important again on top here is the DC multiverse logo Wonder Woman written with the blue color and again at the bottom here McFarlane toys with McFarlane toys symbol and uh, at the back of the packaging we can see the detailed image of uh, golden armor wonder woman uh, which has been taken from the movie of course and uh, below it we can see the other uh, figures from McFarlane toys such as uh, wonder woman in her uh, regular costume from wonder woman 1984 movie batman from arkham asylum video game uh, harley quinn in her uh, classic costume and uh, Batman from uh, the animated series and uh, Joker again from Arkham Asylum video game and uh, here we can see that uh, we can follow McFarlane toys on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and uh, nothing important at the bottom here just some references related to the company and manufacturers and uh, nothing important on top so that's it for the packaging let's rip this box open and take a look what actually lies within them stay tuned so here it is golden armor wonder woman out of the packaging and uh, i think mcfound toys have managed to make this figure looks as closer to the character as it could be so anyway this figure comes with uh, a pair of wings a display base with a stand this can be assembled like this for some iconic and uh, dynamic posing and finally this trading card at the back of it we can see a brief bio of the character if you want to read it just pause the video and read it completely so now we move towards the figure itself this is the front view this is the side view and finally this is the rear view of golden armor wonder woman action figure and if we can see closer there are uh, peg holes here we can attach the wings right into these holes uh, which i will show you guys after the articulation so now we move towards the articulation her head can move left and right like this there's also a neck pivoting here which is good she cannot look upward very far due to the hindrance of the hair scout but she can look downward very far the arms can move back and forth like this outward this far there are also butterfly joints here like this there is also a bicep swivel here like this double jointed elbows like this there is also a 360 degree swivel in the hands like this and uh, the uh, the hands can also move up and down through a hinge joint like this there is also a diaphragm joint here like this she can lean back and forth actually she can lean backward uh, more instead of forward there is also a swivel in the waist section here which is uh, a bit hindered by all this uh, armor and stuff she can kick forward that much 
backward that much and outward this far there is also a swivel in the upper thigh section here like this double jointed knees like this there is also a swivel in the feet like this and uh, there is also a pivot a little amount of pivot as well uh, there is also a hinge joint uh, uh, to make the feet uh, up and down but it's of no use because uh, this motion the hinge joint motion in the feet is completely hindered again by the sculpt and uh, all these uh, armor pieces here and finally there is a toe articulation like this so now uh, I'm going to attach the wings at the back here they can be attached here like this they are kind of stiff like this and the second wing here so if we can talk about the motion uh, related to wings uh, the wings can swivel up and down like this and they can also move back and forth like this through a hinge joint let me show you guys if you can see closer the hinge joint is can work like this so I am attaching it again at the back here so that's it for the articulation finally for some height comparisons here it is golden armor wonder woman side by side with batman from uh, batman begins movie and uh, superman from the animated series and uh, as you guys can see and realize by yourselves that uh, the scaling is not good um, i mean both of these male characters which are superman and batman are a hair bit shorter than wonder woman which is not good i mean the male characters should be taller than female characters and uh, even superman is shorter than wonder woman even though this superman has also been manufactured by mcfarlane toys which is the same company the point is that the scaling is not good uh, between uh, these three characters she should be shorter than superman or n batman uh, although these uh, all these three uh, characters are of uh, seven inch scale this batman has been manufactured by naka while this superman has been manufactured by mcfarlane toys same as that of wonder woman So that's it for today folks, hope you have enjoyed my review, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and if you have already been subscribed, simply hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos from Ghazali's Toy Talks. This is Ghazali over and out.